Hey there friends, we're back again with another print on demand tutorial for you. Today is an exciting one and something we get asked a lot. We are going to discuss strategies for shipping settings for your print on demand store. Now whether you're using Shopify or Big Commerce, these strategies are all going to be the same. I will also show you some tips in the dashboard of Shopify so you know how to set them up. But first we're going to discuss a little bit around the mindset for shipping and also the strategies that you have on offer and what we recommend you pick. So let's get into it. So I've gone a bit fancy today and I've put together a little slideshow because there's a few points I want to get across and I want to explain and talk through a few of the different shipping options. So the first point is though, I see this a lot inside the Facebook groups, in lots of Facebook groups about print on demand and whatnot. Um, don't confuse yourself uh, by overthinking shipping. So pick a simple strategy and launch your store. Way too many people delay their launch. Every day that you delay launching is a day of learning, a day of potential profit, a day in your journey of becoming an expert print on demand seller. So don't let this whole shipping thing get inside your head and confuse you and overwhelm you. Now, I know it can be overwhelming, uh, but hopefully by the end of this video, there will be a bit more clarity around it. And you're welcome to comment below if you have questions or confusion. We wanna make sure that you get this right and you can launch uh, with confidence. So the first thing to know is there is multiple strategies. It really is gonna depend on what works for you. There's no particular right or wrong. Some people might have one particular strategy they swear by, others might be totally different. What I can say is, uh, don't worry about big stores like Amazon or you know big platforms like Amazon that generally do free prime shipping and things like that. Um, you know, Have a think about other things you've bought. Go and uh, find other stores and add things to cart and go to the checkout and see what they're charging for shipping if you wanna get some ideas. So you know, again, don't let it confuse you. There is a lot of strategies, pick one. We're gonna go through them now. So, oh, pushing the wrong button there. So the first one is free shipping on everything. This one's really easy to do. Uh, it's no stress, it's just everything is free shipping, okay? The only thing there is it doesn't leave room for special free shipping deals later. So, you know, moving on to the next one, if you're creating shipping rates, so, so you're, you're charging people shipping, um, you might be able to do a promotion at some stage, whereas free shipping, uh, depending on what your pricing is like. So free shipping is the first one. This one here, creating shipping rates. So this one essentially is you allocate shipping costs based on the amount that people spend. So if the order is $25 or less, which might typically be a t-shirt, then shipping is $5. Or if shipping is $25 to $50, which might be your hoodies or your larger items, then shipping is $10. Now I am gonna show you how to set that up inside Shopify very soon on this video. So don't worry about that. But this is basically your price-based shipping. Okay, very popular, very easy to use. Probably the one that I would recommend, but again, there are different options. The other one is to offer shipping, uh, charge shipping, sorry, but then offer free shipping if customers spend over a certain amount. This is a very popular one too. You'll see a lot of big stores do this essentially because they want you to spend more. All right, so the tip here for you is ignore what AOP Plus charges for shipping. Um, work out the total cost. So you are gonna have to do some maths here. Get a spreadsheet or get a piece of paper and a pencil if you're old school, whatever, whatever it takes to help you understand this. But work out the total cost to you as the seller. So don't get too confused around, oh, it's this for production and this for shipping. Obviously you need to know those prices, but let's just say a t-shirt costs you $15. It's $10 to make it, $5 for shipping, okay? So you've got $15, then work out what you're going to price it, uh, what you're going to price it at. So, you know, so you can maximize your profits. And this all comes down to, again, not confusing yourself. I have seen people say, oh, but if I charge, if I do free shipping on my store, I'm gonna lose money because AOP Plus charges me shipping. And that's not how it works, okay? Um, yes, if you don't, 
factor in shipping costs in your base prices and you do free shipping, of course you're gonna lose money. But when we say do free shipping, it doesn't mean, hey, just lose money. You price your products accordingly so the shipping is included and you are not losing money. Okay, it's pretty simple when you break it down, but some people approach this the wrong way or they, they let it get in their head and think, oh, if I'm not charging shipping, then oh, I'm gonna lose money. Doesn't work that way. Just work out the total costs and then the total revenue you're getting from a sale and make sure you are getting a profit out of that revenue. Okay, so now it's time to have a look inside Shopify. So if you come into your Shopify store, you go down to the bottom left to settings, then you go to shipping and delivery. Now, don't worry about things like local delivery, the address that you've put in, things like that. Doesn't really matter. All of these carriers, shipping labels, ignore all of that. Okay, that's more for if you're shipping stuff yourself. All right, totally different model of e-commerce. We are talking about selling print-on-demand products with AOP+. Plus. So what we're looking at first is shipping. Okay, so you've got general shipping rates and you can see this is all products. Right, so if we go in here, so I've got various um, leggings and t-shirts and things that I've done before with AOP Plus on this little demo store. Okay, so this has got sort of all products on here. And any and see how it says there as well, new products are added to this profile. Now, what this has done automatically, because I'm located in Australia, it's got domestic Australia and it's got weight based. So what you really want to do is you want to delete things like this so you can leave the rest of the world. The first thing you really want to do, let's say if you've got a store and it's just all t-shirts, all lightweight products, create shipping zone. All right, now this is just a name for you. So let's say this is for USA. So a zone is like a country. So this is USA. Now, the first thing you wanna do, here's a tip for United States is you can select United States, but what you need to do, now it is rare that you'll get a sale for these places, but see it's got 62 of 62 states. It includes things like American Samoa. You need to uncheck that. Okay, Micronesia, Guam, Hawaii. I exclude Hawaii, I'm sorry. It's a bit of a pain with shipping. It costs extra, um, unless you're selling there for any particular reason, don't worry about it. You're not gonna lose any money by not selling a couple of sales here and, here and there to Hawaii. And if you do accidentally sell some there and it doesn't arrive or it costs you a fortune in shipping or whatever, you will, um, you'll regret it. So, you know, I just uncheck these. Don't feel like you need to Offer everything to everyone around the world. Simplify your business. Offer things just to the continental United States. So again, Marshall Islands, get rid of that. So I don't know where some of these places are. We just want the, uh, you know, just the continent there, North America, just United States. We don't want all these other territories and islands and whatnot. North Mariana Islands. All right, so you need to scroll through and just get rid of all of these. US Virgin Islands, armed forces, get rid of the armed forces locations, okay? So that is done. Now, we have added USA as a shipping zone, okay? But there's no rates, so you need to add a rate. So we're gonna set up our own rates, don't worry about the used carrier or app to calculate rates. If you wanna do free shipping, let's just say free shipping USA, we'll spell that one correctly, okay? Price is zero. Now, what you want to look at as well, we don't need this now, but um, you will need to look at the pricing for the next little strategy, okay? But if we look at this one, this is how you set up free shipping for USA. I've just done zero and it knows that that's free. And this is what customers are going to see at checkout, okay? So done. That there is our USA shipping, free shipping, for all of these products, okay? Bear in mind, this is the general shipping profile for all products. Now, let's just delete that one. Here's how you set up the shipping where you are charging people based on prices. I'm just gonna quickly skip through and add the USA again because I deleted it and then we'll get back to it. Okay, so we've got the United States again. There we need to add a rate. Now this time, 
we want to say um, standard standard we can just say standard shipping USA call it what you want but remember the customers do see this now you might want to say okay this is five dollars but based on the order value we want to say up to $25 so let's say if we've got a whole heap of t-shirts um, or face mask or cushion covers things that are cheap doesn't cost us much to ship now you need to make sure you know the price of all the shipping okay but we're going to charge five dollars for all of these items so anything up to five uh, twenty five dollars people will be charged five dollars okay and then we want to add another rate now we can just call it the same sort of thing if you want this is going to be ten dollars based on price now remember we did twenty five dollars before so twenty five dollars and one cent uh, to let's say $50 okay so if you've got a heap of sweatshirts or hoodies and things like that that are probably more like you know eight to ten dollars to ship so you want to charge them ten dollars um, okay so you can see that's added there it's got the conditions so it's pretty obvious and pretty easy to understand now then you might want to say okay anything above free bonus shipping okay anything above $50 so remember don't do $50 you might confuse it because we did $50 in the previous rate $50 and one cent done so if people are spending $50 or over $50 then they're going to get free shipping that's how we use that other strategy so you can see there it's pretty easy now what I want to show you is another option. If you have different products, canvases, for example, let's say if we want to set up canvases. So we're going to save that. So right now, all of our products here, we're charging a little bit of shipping uh, depending on how much they spend. Now, bear in mind, if they're buying two t-shirts with this rate, it is going to charge them $10. That's great because it does cost us a bit more. It might be less, but at the end of the day, you understand what we're trying to do here. And we're also offering free shipping. So. Uh, over a certain spend so now what we're going to do now I've got general shipping rates I've just kept everything in there so that's all the products if you create a new profile this one here you can individually um, choose actual products and this is what they're going to get charged okay so let's say if this is canvas so if we're using the canvas products from AOP plus now I don't think I've got any in here at the moment but let's just choose the face mask okay so I've chosen the face mask right we're going to assume that is a canvas now what we're going to do is again just add your country like we did before okay normally you'd exclude everything now here we're going to say the canvases you can again do a name so people will see this checkout canvas shipping so small canvas shipping might be ten dollars all right now pricing let's say we priced our small canvases between twenty dollars and forty dollars done so we know that then the bigger canvases large canvas shipping they do start getting expensive to ship but people aren't um, afraid of paying for it they know that shipping is going to cost okay so that last one we said forty dollars so anything above forty dollars we're going to charge twenty dollars for now this is just going to be for a canvas product that we would have added here we put the face mask there because i don't have any canvases on this store but you understand the process now if you want to then do another country like the uk you create a shipping zone okay so you do uk united kingdom all right and then you would do the same you'd add the same prices for the united kingdom now here this has got not covered by your shipping zone so if you haven't included any of these countries or the rest of the world then customers won't be able to check out on your store and that's great 
don't feel like you need to ship everywhere. Just ship to the big, you know, the end of the big five countries. So United Kingdom, United States, Canada, Australia, New Zealand. Now, unless you're shipping something something peculiar to, you know, places in Europe, that's fine. You just need to go through this same process. It takes a little bit of time, but you only need to set it up once. All right, friends, I hope that video explained a few things to you. I did talk for quite a while. Uh, it is a technical kind of subject or topic, but I really hope that I made a bit of sense for you and helped you get over a few things that you might have might have been holding you back with your store. This one is really important that you drop some comments below because if something is still confusing you, I will answer all your questions. Uh, we'll make another video if need be. Please just let us know, we are here to help. And as always, please make sure you do like and comment and also subscribe to this channel. We put out new videos every week. Uh, we're not here to sell you anything. We are here to help you sell more in your print on demand store. So check out our other videos as well. Like I said, every single week we put out a tutorial. We are here to help you and thank you so much for watching again. Stay tuned for the next AOP Plus Print On Demand Academy tutorial coming to you soon.